to everyone on this very dark day. It's actually pretty sunny. We are going to start today's episode by solving a very important problem. I am pointing at chests, so that should be the hint. Yes, storage. I need more. <laughs> However, now that we have unlocked steel, we're going to do something very important. Make the final backpack for the quest. Nothing to see here. I thought you were going to give me all of them. Purple it is. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, I know, but this is going to be my tool backpack. This might sound a bit weird, but in order to solve my storage issues, we need to go exploring. We need villages. You never need a cactus farm in GTNH, do you? It's more common than sand. Villages are great because they have bricks. Huh, I think my madness is affecting the horse. Another reason that villages are important is that they have doors. They have thomium. 10 steel ingots. You know what's stupid? I've been here. Like two episodes ago. Anywho, they also have item frames and they do have sneaky chests. Tongue of the dog. Okay, look into my eyes. Mesmerizing, aren't they? No, you all know that I'm a fan of cosmetic armor, right? They have the most beautiful armor. What if we lure one of them in? Oops, one of them is a boss. Yes, come to me. I kind of forgot that their armor is actually very strong. Void seat. We run. Run, horsey, run. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you would get a void seat. That was what I wanted to show you. Not running away like a chicken. Well, I think they despawned. Okay, it has been a while later and you might notice we finally have a base. At first I decided to make it out of bricks, this is why we went to the villagers and stole the bricks. But then I was like, yeah, but eventually we want to make it out of Aegon. If I make it out of bricks, then I have to tear it down in like a few episodes and then make it again out of Aegon? Which sounded really stupid. So I made it out of Aegon. However, the recipe of Aegon is a teeny tiny bit more expensive at this very moment, so I had to go to the same villages again, and instead of stealing bricks, I had to steal slabs. Also, we don't really have a dolly, so I have to move the chests one by one. It's a pain, you know? I'm gonna reduce the particles. I hate them. It's always in my face. Anywho, once we move to our actual base, this is still going to be the storage for ores that we're going to mine, and we're going to make an ore processing unit right next to it. However, there is one more thing that I want to do over here and we need to add a few corridors to the base so that we can add a few more rooms. Specialized rooms, like a kitchen. We are also going to need maybe a stack of glass panes, but I need the glass in order to make the egg on. Also, the floor is not going to change because concrete is expensive. And we can't really do that until we reach the next age, which is going to be low voltage. I need way more egg on. Way more. But on a very positive note, we are processing ores, and a lot of ores. I did make a hammer, so we can hammer it down. Each time that it's hammering down one ore, it is consuming 200 millibuckets of steam. We can't really keep up when it's running all the time, but for the moment, I think we can manage it. We also have an upgraded furnace, but it's not really fast. I take the iron and the planks. Yeah, for what I want to do, this is nowhere near enough. Well, we have one more stack here, I guess. Let us see how far we can go. As it turns out, not really far, because um, I'm out of blocks. This is why we have dirt. But I have another issue. Either I'm not pressing record or there's something wrong with OBS, but it does happen a bit. Anywho, what I did was not very important. I just made a few parts for a kitchen. So we have the cooking table, a sink. This is not an infinite water source, but it is going to provide water to food recipes. Where's the water? Do I have to provide it with water? Where's my armor? I am telling you, something is wrong. Oh, I was attacked by zombies. Maybe they broke. So do I have to provide you with water? Ooh, you're not very useful. Anyways, we have the oven, four fridges, and for the moment, one counter. Don't you worry. I know they look ugly, but we can paint them. Also, I'm not really worried about the iron cost. We have plenty of iron. The one from the nether gives you like four ores. Anyways, one more thing that I did before I realized I have not hit the record button is down here. So I have an extractor, I put rubber wood inside, I chopped down all the trees and well, we're getting some raw rubber dust so that we would be able to make a few rubber bars. If possible, I also want to be able to advance to the LVH today. We will see. Actually, the whole reason we went down there was these stone plates for the cabinets. So let me check if I have pressed record this time. If you have watched the previous clip, yeah, 
it's obvious I did press record. I don't know, maybe if it's just a very long clip, it's gonna stop automatically or something? I'm not sure. I did change a few settings so that the quality will be better. I don't know if it has any side effects. Red is nice. Also for the sink, yeah, you have to provide it with water and it has a capacity of 16 buckets. So maybe once we get a pump, we can put a tank outside and pump it in. I I'm not really sure, but we can check. But once we get some food inside the fridge and cabinets, uh, well, crafting is going to be much easier, right? Yes, exactly. I can easily make the items that I haven't eaten yet. That is all I wanted and I'm very happy. It's just that at this very moment, we don't really have any good sources of light except torches. Uh, once we get glowstone, I'll change it. Maybe for the moment we can just hide it back here so that I don't see it. Oh, and fun fact of the day, when you break it and place it down, you need to recolor it. I was working on the kitchen. I have made most of the tools, but for some of the recipes, we are going to need a rolling pin, a soft mallet, and a knife. Alternatively, we want to go with these guys, but uh, they require stainless steel. Shocking, I know. So I thought the quest book wants us to make 40 rubber bars, but uh, we're gonna need way more. For the soft mallets and maybe also a pump, I know you can extract rubber dust from resin too, but um, I need the resin. I don't really need the wood. My armor is back. I don't know what's wrong. I just sorted my inventory. Are you a lone wolf? Are you a wolf pack? You seem to be alone. Go to hell. But oh, this guy is still processing rubber dust. One stack and three. <laughs> Trust me, it's been a while. So first off, the armor is just a glitch. And I did notice how it happens. Apparently, if you open the cooking table, the armor should be gone. Yep. I don't know why, but I never explained why the hell did I invest in a kitchen. The thing is, we do have extra hearts, right? And I'm not really sure how many extra hearts we can get, but I'm assuming at minimum it's going to be 20. And for the 9 hearts that I'm missing, I need to make 180 more different types of food. If you look at the NEI for Pam's Harvest Craft, uh, you might notice that the list is quite long. Since you need to carry a bajillion items in your inventory in order to craft food, crafting them one by one is incredibly difficult. But over here, I just dump everything inside the fridge. I come to the table and I can just go through the list. Apple cider. I haven't tried it. Apple pie. I haven't tried it. Apple sauce. What is an apple sauce? I don't know. Apple yogurt. Don't really like yogurt, but you guys get the gist. That was the whole point. I thought we were going to need two stacks of raw rubber dust, but apparently we just needed 120. I have it in my inventory. We just need to wash some sulfur. Thank you. This is going to be the first batch. We're going to make millions. Don't you worry. And by millions, I just meant a lot. It takes 20 seconds. Oh boy. I guess I get back to making more egg on. The rubber is ready, so let us try to advance. Uh, we're going to need a mold for plates. So we make the casting form. We do need some steel, which I believe I left it in the kitchen. Don't ask me why. Yep, we shall cover you in steel. And for some reason, which I don't really understand, we have to macerate down the rubber bars into rubber pulp and then cook it into plates. That one is fast. How many do you want? You want a 10. That is great. And now let us see what we need to craft. We need tin cables. Two tin ingots are going to give us one wire. So now we should be able to make an LV machine casing. Yeah, everything is in the kitchen. My wrench. So LV machine casing and obviously the first LV machine haul. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we need more wires. I'm so excited. <laughs> the worst part is I need 24 copper wires. And that is very expensive. Everything counted so far. That is good. So after a bunch of crafting, the cables are also done. Really? I have already made it. I don't remember for what, but <laughs> this is not new. Anywho, our first electric motor. That one I deserved. Not that much, but you know. Oh, you need two of them. So there you go. For the quest. For the turbine, I think we need the circuit, right? Yep, we need the circuit and we also need rotors, which is a pain to make. I just have some lovely news. It's a blood moon. And this place looks dark. Yeah, this is much better. Why are there so many mobs? It's a really good thing they don't touch the horsey. So where was I? Um, tin rotors. We can make more. So that is the rotor quest. And now we need to make circuits. And unfortunately, I can't really go out. We do that in the morning. That's a beautiful spider. Well, I thought since I'm hiding like a chicken, I might as well use my time productively. The item that we're making at this very moment is the architect saw bench. And this is the last of our steel. But I think it's going to be totally worth it. That was a quest. There was also another quest in order to make a shear, so I did make one. And I just realized mob can spawn on top of you. We're just gonna make a run for it and never look back. I have a feeling you're useful. 
he died. So the shear does not do anything special, we just get the wool. But I also made something called the butchery knife. It does seem that it's going to have, yep, looting 2 and sharpness 1. And mobs are not gonna explode. That's a really good thing to have. That wolf gave me a magma cream. Maybe we should make a mob farm. One day, not now. So where was I? I need to make four more molds. Oh, and that's nice. We only have four aluminum brass. And we also don't have any steel. I was planning to move to coke ovens, but I guess, yeah, we have a decent amount of coal coke. But look at all that iron. Actually, we're not out of steel because I always carry some in my backpack. Um, we will go and check. Also, there is a stupid zombie here and he's driving me mad. Hello. Oh, this is why you're not burning. It's fine. I can kill you. Somebody took my block. That's dangerous. Anywho, do we have steel? No. In you? No. In you? No. But I found my buckets and the plates. At first I thought I have to wait a few hours in order to get steel, but no. My extra steel was right over here. But also this is not the worst, we already have two. In each one. This one should be the final mold. Thank you, thank you. And now we should be able to make an electron tube. Um, how was this? Oh, you need the glass tube and this is why you need the mold. In an alloy smelter, okay. Where are the wires? Oh, I have them. So I don't really know how fast is it going to eat through the entire supply of glass, but we're going to make half a stack. Oh, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Okay, then we're fine. Do you need the one or do you need more? You need two. Oh, you need more copper wire and steel rods. And we also need the circuit board. It's just that one thing that I realized is that I have no coal dust. We can master it you, right? Yes. Now, how do we crush you? Do we have some extra coal dust here? Yeah, we do. I'm slightly confused. How the hell am I supposed to make it? Ah, this recipe works. There you go. And yes, obviously, you need two of them. I am telling you, it's nighttime every four seconds. Here are the vacuum tubes. Thank you. No fireworks. Oh, there are fireworks. A bit of delay. I have been making a lot of wood planks for the kitchen, so the circuit board is not going to be a problem. Let's get more, just in case. And we're out of copper wire. I thought I made the extra, but that is fine by me. Here is my circuit board thingy. This didn't count because I did not hold it in my inventory, but the quest counted. Then I guess I just have to make the circuits. I'm not going to use the mold. We use the hammer. So ladies and gentlemen, we have discovered electricity. I think. Oh no, we have to make a steam turbine. But we should have everything except the pipe, which I have it here. So voila, we're done. And yes, LVH is unlocked. Perfection. So obviously having a basic steam turbine with no machines, no more circuits is kind of garbage. So I think here's what we're going to do. We're going to try and make as many circuits as we can, as many motors as we can, and sleep, and then try to make the machines that are going to make our lives a bit easier. I think our first order of business should be a bending machine, which is, oh my goodness, two circuits and a piston. And the second one should be a basic wire mill, which does require two more circuits. Thank you. And I guess just in case, one more basic steam turbine. Yeah, I mean, I have the rotors, so why the hell not? It's just that we're going to need a ton of wires, and yeah, thankfully we have some copper ore from the nether. We have way more. Not a ton, but decent. But we also have some charred copper, right? So we're good. Yeah, you should really start checking this stuff. Uh, we have plenty of copper. But we process it anyways, for the future. You're making me glass tubes, thank you. But I also need way more rubber. Where are the wolves? But this is good, ladies and gentlemen, because we can think about basic automations and how to make our base look a teeny tiny bit better. So even though I'm at a very garbage stage, I'm not gonna complain. Just out of extreme curiosity, yeah, you're going to give me three raw rubber. Maybe we use some of the resin, because I just need one more tank. Anyways, let me craft the items that we need, and I'll be right back. Okay, as a quest reward, I did manage to get some glass. And that means we should be able to have a few windows. I'm gonna use it for windows. Secondly, when someone said that he's going to go and gather the stuff and then he's going to be right back, he kind of made a miscalculation. So this stupid bending machine that you see in front of you is extremely expensive. I was not paying attention to the fact that an electric piston requires like 12 pieces of steel. So this dude is not going to happen. The basic wire mill is a teeny tiny bit cheaper, but we are also missing a motor. Can I make a motor? Oh yeah. Okay, so I guess here is a wire mill. You're gonna give me the sword of the cosmos with a bending machine. Saplings. I know they're supposed to give you ores, but I don't like them. At least we can make wires a bit cheaper. Just a bit. Don't explode. 
Oh, you can even make it out of ingots. So one ingot gives you two. So you're going to give me a stack of wires? I forgot. I thought it's a one-to-one -one ratio. <laughs> okay. Well, wires are not the problem. Steel is the problem. And I don't really have any coke ovens. I only have three of them and, well, they're not the best. I think in the garbage blast furnace that we have, yeah, we need like three cold coke in order to get one steel. Or maybe it was two. It's 94 pages. I can't check. Oh, we can check it from here. It's two to one. So I guess already we are missing a coke oven. And we are going to have more blast furnaces, so we need to make more coke ovens. Also, one thing that I forgot is that uh, we have a market. I can buy glass. I can buy pistons. Wires are useful. Oh, and most importantly, some sticky resin. That should save us on a bit of resources. I have steel rods in a chest. I'm a great genius at wasting stuff. So if we want the coke bricks, that is the recipe. I wish you would have filled it in. And that is three stacks. Let us make as much as we can. I'm out of sand, but sand is not very important. We live right next to a desert. So let's make a bit more. Good. I got an extra heart. Anyways, I just need to find a decent location for our coke oven and blast furnaces. I really want to do it in the desert. I have disabled pollution, so it doesn't really matter. We can even put it inside the base, but uh, I'm not sure. I want to tell you a story. There was a genius with incredibly beautiful eyes. Mesmerizing. And a few days ago in game, he mentioned that we live right next to a desert. Sand is free and it's almost infinite. Did I mention that he had beautiful eyes? That genius mines a lot of sand, but he uses that in order to flatten out the desert. So that person doesn't have any sand left. But he does have beautiful eyes. Anyways, with the bricks that we had, with the three coke ovens that we have, uh, these are the number of blocks that we have at this very moment. I know that it should be 26 per coke oven. Let us see where we stand. Yeah, we can make six coke ovens, considering the fact that we only have two blast furnaces, two of them are redundant. But eventually we are going to have eight blast furnaces, so we need to expand on this and we also need to make a tank. I'm actually not going to do that right now because we are going to need a lot of pumps, pumps require steel, and we are also going to need a lot of bronze. So whenever the creosote oil gets full, um, I'm just gonna break it. It will void everything. Also, why you no work? You're working. Where's the animation? I mean, you know, the fire thingy. Oh, it will have the fire whenever you get creosote oil. Interesting. We have 32 pieces of steel. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough, but we are going to try and make the bending machine. Even if we can't, it's still fine by me. I can't really do anything about it because we don't have any coal coke. And steel takes a bajillion years. So here is a piston. Here is a second piston. That should be a quest. Yes, as a reward, you're going to give me two pistons. <laughs> That's a horrible reward. But if I'm not wrong, we should be able to at least make the two additional electric motors. And the rest is not even going to be enough in order to make the machine haul. So yeah, I guess for the moment, we just have to leave it at that. But I need to go mining. And I was thinking of making a few miners backpack. Uh, this one automatically is going to pick up the ores. So it's very useful. The destructo pack requires aluminium or steel. Oh, but it does require a higher tier of circuit. So no. We just go to our normal backpack. Uh, what do you need? Just for the quest to count, we are going to make the digger's backpack first. Now, is it just leather? Oh, it is just leather. I thought it's bound leather. So here's a miner's backpack and here's a digger's backpack. The quest should have counted. Yes, yes. We take the loot back. Oh, not eaten yet. Thank you. But since we are going to mine way more ores, um, I'm going to take a few of you. Three to be exact. Oh, I made four. Why? <laughs> okay, we are going to start making tons of steel and well, we are going to need tons of coal. Iron is not a problem because we get pyrite from the nether and we can quadruple it, so we're good on that. But in this world, I have only found two coal veins, so we need to find more. I mean, I'm assuming iron is not a problem. Maybe we should process more? Because I also need to make a tank for creosote oil. You are iron, essentially. Okay, this one is vanadium magnetite. It has to be separated, right? Okay, I got every piece of iron that we had. They go in. You found coal? Huh, now that everything is being processed, we can go and look for coal. Uh, that is an ore chunk, so we can walk this way. It's a shame, none of these stupid things are coal. I was going to start nagging, but yeah, this is coal. Just look how far away I'm from home. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's also a good time to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one. Bye bye.